probably know by now that Afghanistan is the world leader in opium production. That is the principal crop that is being grown here. They have to grow the opium because now the population is, uh, you know, they have these opium fields and we are tolerating it. They have these opium fields and we are tolerating it. We are tolerating the cultivation of the opium. Introduce Lieutenant Colonel Brian Christmas. He's the commanding officer of the 3rd Battalion, 6th Marines. Uh, and in a sense, uh, you're watching as uh, this opium is being grown. I know it, it grinds at your gut. Uh, how do you deal with it? What are you doing about it? Well, uh, frankly, this is a part of their culture. So uh, while it might grind in my gut, it, it's what they do. Uh, we, we provide them security. We, we provide them security. We're providing them resources. We're here to help them with the, that security and those resources. Really, I, I fault the politicians for putting the Marines in this position, uh, you know, where we can't eradicate these, uh, these crops. You want to see exactly how close the vast fields of poppy, the opium poppy are, just take a look at this. I want to show you how prevalent it is. Just in the shadow of the United States forces, I want you to follow me into this compound. Just scant feet away. Open the old door, the door that has been here for quite a while. And what you see is a wonderland of opium. A wonderland of opium, as far as the eye can see. The hard work now is governing this province, a province, as you suggest, that has become addicted to opium in many, many ways. That is the principal crop that is being grown here. Uh, the Taliban lend the farmers the money. They are indebted to the Taliban. They have to grow the opium. Now the Marines, in their success, are in a sense a victim of their success because now the population is, uh, you know, they have these opium fields and we are tolerating it. We are tolerating the cultivation of the opium because we know that if we were to destroy it now, the population would turn against the Marines and it would be a real security risk. In Afghanistan, where 90% of the world's opium is grown, children become the defenseless victims of their parents' addiction almost from the moment they're born. This is a story that reveals a human tragedy. Young children being addicted to heroin and opium by their parents. Aziza reaches into the cupboard for a small, dark lump wrapped in plastic. Unwraps it and feeds a small piece to her four-year-old son, Omeidullah. It's his breakfast. A breakfast of pure opium. In fact, this entire extended family is addicted. The explosion of heroin in suburban America isn't by accident. Rather, it's the plan of drug lords from Mexico and Colombia who are aggressively marketing the drug to middle America. Packets of heroin, now stamped with popular brand names, even blockbuster movies like Twilight. They're using dealers who used to peddle pot to push heroin. Often, they give it away for free. Once kids are hooked, they sell it and do it cheap. Well, how come Al-Qaeda put the heroin business out? They took all the poppy growers and stopped the production of heroin. What would you have done? Wait, now how much of that illegal heroin was propping up the international banks with laundered money, and when it dried up, the first recession happened? Well, now that we're back in there, we aligned with the poppy growers, and the heroin business is back up full swing again. Okay. I thought we fight a war on drugs here. All right, Jesse, Seems what was... we're not.